um, what I was hoping actually to even showcase sample research, but there isn't time. So I'm going to give you a very broad sort of elevator speech in terms of what I do. My research has really two distinct yet overlapping research streams over a course of many years. The first is forecasting, prediction, risk assessment. Predicting what? Well, anything. I've uh, forecasted things like uh, uh, sales of computers to propagation of the flu. Uh, so even now when we think about, okay, flu season is coming up, what is the forecast? That actually sounds simple. But it actually isn't. Is it going to be uniform? Is it going to peak? Is it going to be steady state? Uh, how is it going to be divided across various regions or areas, for example? Um, and how we divide that knowledge helps us then move to supply chain management, which is actually the delivery system to respond to those forecasts. Uh, so in the flu case, well, are we going to have the right vaccines in the right place? Uh, there's a bottleneck issue with regard to uh, delivery, creation, all of that. We want to have the right quantities in the right place. So these two areas, even though they seem distinct, they're actually very much Related, And if you look at even now what's happening with Ebola, this is precisely that. Uh, how do we forecast what's going on? And it's not just a question of how many cases, but also where it's going to occur and what is the best way for us to look at territories. And then also, how do we produce the vaccines? We have a bottleneck. We have a supply chain management problem in terms of production, sourcing, delivery, getting it to the right place. So this is essentially what I do, uh, kind of in a nutshell. I worked, again, in the healthcare area. I've, I was called recently to comment on issues of the Panama Canal. What is the forecast? Uh, how is it going to affect transportation? Uh, all of it on the Northeast uh, uh, Corridor, and it will. Um, I've actually worked with companies like Mattel, where you look at, let's say, sales of toys. It sounds obviously so much more trivial, right, than when we're talking about healthcare. But actually, in, with sales of toys, it's actually for these companies, it's a big deal because sales of toys peak at Christmas. They cannot miss that window. They have to do very good forecasting. The lead time is four to six months, which you wouldn't think about that being long, but it's actually really long. If they have too much, then they have overstock and they may have to discount it. If they don't have enough, then they don't have enough time to be able to get product to the shelves. So again, this is this unifying problem between forecasting and the supply chain. And that's really what I have on the next graph. You know, one feeds the other, but it works the other way as well. Our forecasts actually change in response to what we do. So even if you think about Ebola, uh, as we began to take measures, whether it's quarantines, whether it's more production delivery of the vaccine, the signal is actually going to change. The forecast then is going to be constantly modified, and hence our response to that. So this is sort of this ongoing dance. And what I work in, uh, I've done forecasting for 25 years. I know forecasting very well. And the same models that we use in one area we'll use in the other, whether it's climate change, tourism, again, pharma. Um, and then how do we design resilient supply chains to actually respond to what the need is. I'm actually down to three and a half minutes, which is pretty amazing. Um, very quickly, uh, when I started my career, I worked in a very narrow area. I'm operations management, modeling. I had this very tiny view of the world. Uh, I was pretty naive. I was in my 20s, and you know, I just thought, I'm going to model. But then as I work with companies, uh, I spend a lot of time working with real data organizations, I begin to see the breadth of the entire supply chain. Uh, and within the organization, the roles of marketing and sourcing and human resources and the role of IT, I got more into empirical methods. Today, I work in a multi-method setting. I really very much believe that these methods complement each other. I also have a, a pretty broad vision in terms of research. I think collaboration across areas is absolutely critical in order for us to really solve the problems that we 
that we currently have. Uh, my current research is actually in three distinct buckets. Uh, the first one is really using big data, analytics, IT. At the end of the day, it's groups who make decisions or people who make them with support of information that they have. So how is this done and how does analytics help us? Uh, the other one really looks at uh, contemporary challenges such as climate change, for example, where we can uh, you know, develop very uh, different kinds of supply chains in response to what the forecasts are. Uh, and lastly, again, very much the forecasting supply chain design, as I had already mentioned. And I have many projects going in those areas. And the common themes, again, are IT, uh, analytics, uh, and the sort of interplay between the, the actual chain and the forecast. I was originally going to share particular uh, uh, papers that I'm currently working on, but I don't have the time to do that. I think you have some idea in terms of you know, what I do and how I see the world. So I'm going to skip through a few slides, but I did have one that gave me, that I wanted to share with you, uh, just an overall concluding thoughts as to um, my area, our area, supply chain management. Uh, I, I think it is, I really believe it is uniquely positioned to help us. I have a red light now. Uh, I'm counting down. Um, but I think given its breadth and given its reach, I think it is uniquely positioned to really help us address the contemporary challenges that as a society uh, we are facing. And I think in order to be able to achieve, and I've, I've listed a number of these, uh, you know, we are interconnected. This planet is interconnected interconnected. Uh, and we see it. We see it every day. You know, we look at the news and we see what's happening. Uh, I think my area, our area, is uniquely positioned. And I really want to work at the forefront. And I very much welcome the opportunity to work with, uh, with, with any of you. And I have 17 seconds left. So I will, on that note, I will stop and see if you have any, any questions. Excellent, Emery. We're moving right along. Thank Six, you. five, and I'm done.